Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman again with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for tuning in today. About a year ago, I was, I was sitting right here in this chair at this very spot making a video called Why You Need to Stop Chasing Women. And after about uh, I don't know, almost 300,000 views and about 1,200 comments, there's something that, that didn't quite get across with that video that I wanted to explain. That's why I'm making a part two of why you need to stop chasing women. I got a lot of comments on that video that, that confused me a little bit. Guys were saying, so you mean I'm just supposed to be a monk? I'm just supposed to hole up in my room and masturbate every day? I'm supposed to never want a woman in my life? Why are you telling me I need to stop chasing women? And I think what happened was they missed the point in that video. The point was that it's the chasing energy we need to stop. It's the needy, pursuing, pressuring, pushing, desperate energy that we need to stop, that chasing energy of trying to chase approval and validation and affection. I am a big fan of women. I'm a big fan of pursuing women, of inviting them into my life, of making them offers to be with me. I say them, I have a girlfriend, but that's how I got her into my life. I made her an offer. And so I want to talk about in this video the difference between not chasing women, that is just cutting them out of your life altogether like some of the MGTOW guys do, the men going their own way. They just swear women off altogether. Uh, even some of them pursue women. I want to talk about the difference between just cutting women out of your life altogether, which I don't recommend because I happen to like them. Let's, let's assume you and I have something in common that we like women. We like the way they sound. We like the way they smell. We like the way they, they feel. We like the way they move. Let's say we really dig women. When I tell you to stop chasing them, I'm telling you to stop chasing their approval of you, getting them to like you, to validate your very worthiness and to make you feel good about yourself. You have to stop that because if you have that going on, there's no way a woman's going to want to be in your life. So part two, let's, let's change the word chase. Let's talk about if you want a woman in your life, how about the word invite or offer? What would it sound like if you were to make an offer to a woman that wasn't pursuing her or begging or pleading, but just an offer for her to enter your life at that level of connection and intimacy and conversation? What would that sound like? And it reminds me of a, a business proposition that uh, I was learning. I was talking to my own coach and I, I was having a hard time, you know, getting clients to sign up for retreats. And he said, well, let me hear your pitch. What, what's your offer? And I, when I told him, I sounded kind of needy, like I really, really needed clients and I really need you to come to my retreat and, and come join me here. And he goes, what if it sounded like this? I'm going to pick you up at the airport in limousine and in one hour we're going to be at a beach house. We're going to be high on a cliff in this incredible resort home with eight other men. We're going to have gourmet meals, a dedicated chef and maid service every day. We're going to have orchestrated conversations and we're going to talk about men and confidence. We're going to talk about ambition and wealth and then we're going to take a break and we're all going to go surfing together and take a lesson. Then we're going to come back for a great dinner and that night we're going to have a campfire and then we're going to have more conversation and presentation around masculinity and, and living the life you've always wanted to live. We're going to laugh. We're going to, we're going to have some drinks. We're going to have a good time and we're going to develop a bond and a brotherhood that's better than you've ever imagined and it's going to last a lifetime. And I'm sitting there talking to my coach and he, <laughs> he made this pitch and I go, I want to go. How much? I don't care how much. I want to go to that thing. So my point on this video is how do you represent yourself as a man who can make an offer that irresistible? Who are you as a man at your core? Your, your, the way you carry yourself and your, and your values and what you believe and where you're going and what you're creating in your life. What are you passionate about? What do you care about? And, and what is the life, the richly imagined future you plan to have no matter who goes with you? You're simply inviting them to come along on your life. That's what we do in this coaching business and in my programs and my retreats. We help you develop that richly imagined future, that inner confidence, that inner sense of self and well-being that when you make an offer, an invitation to a woman, it has no strings attached because you're already okay. You're inviting her or offering her to come for a ride into your already awesome life. And the opposite of that is, is pleading or chasing a woman to enter your life when you feel empty, when you feel lonely, when you feel invalidated or you feel discouraged or disappointed. All those things that, that we have in our bodies. When we go chasing women with that stuff, we wonder why, they, why it doesn't work. So that's what I want you to think about. How are you creating 
yourself? How are you building yourself up into a man who, when he makes an offer, an invitation to people to join him, men or women, that it's irresistible? How are you becoming ir irresistible? Anyway, I hope you got the point today. Become a man who is irresistible, who makes irresistible offers and invitations without chasing. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. Take care.